In this video, we're gonna be adding a Facebook widget to our website. It looks just like this. And it's a really good way of promoting your Facebook page on your website. It allows people to click the like button and like your page straight from your site. And you can also share other stuff like your recent posts and the people that actually like your page. It's really easy to do. We're gonna be using the official Facebook code and it's pretty much just a case of copy and paste. So let's get started. It's Alex here from WP Eagle. I hope you're all well. If you're new to the channel, would love to have you as part of the WP Eagle community. To join us, simply click the subscribe button below and make sure you click that bell to be notified when I upload new videos. You might also want to go check out wpeagle.com if you haven't already. You might even be watching this video on wpeagle.com. But if you haven't checked it out, it's recently had a complete revamp and well, I think it's pretty good. So over there you'll find all of my videos alongside some other really cool WordPress stuff. But anyway, let's get on with this video. As I said, we're gonna be adding a Facebook widget. It's really straightforward. So uh, let's get on the computer and I'll show you what you need to do. So I'm over at bowwowtech.co.uk, which tends to be the site that I'm working on in most of my recent videos. You're probably fed up of seeing this site by now. But hey, why not? It's one of my more recent sites and yeah, it's a good site to work with. And I know a lot of you are running similar sites uh, with the kingdom theme and you know Amazon affiliate sites and all that kind of stuff. If you're not and you'd like one, I'll put a link in the description to the tutorial that I created when I built this site and you could have your very own Bowwell Tech style site. Of course, I'd recommend that you choose a different niche, but ah, it's up to you. So anyway, we're gonna be adding the Facebook widget. I'm gonna add it to the homepage. I'm just gonna scroll down. I've got all my products and things here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add it down here. I'm gonna move this over a little bit and then I'm gonna create a column here, this fourth column. I'm gonna stick it there. I think that'll be nice. So let's do that first. I'm gonna just quickly rearrange this page. Um, so we've got a bit of room. That's gonna take two seconds. Now, you're gonna obviously need to make space for wherever you're gonna put your widget. I find like a column is good. You don't really want the full page because you don't want a really wide widget. It looks better in a column, that's just my opinion. So maybe half a page, quarter of a page, third of a page, it's probably the best place to do it. So that's why I'm gonna scroll right down. These products don't display properly within a Visual Composer, or even it's called WP Bakery Page Builder now actually or something, but yeah, don't worry about that. So let's quickly make this a different sort of layout. So I'm gonna go up here in my Visual Composer, I'm gonna change it to this. So two thirds and a third, like that, perfect. Come out of that. Now these are looking a bit squashed, so let's just adjust this down to, um, to three posts rather than the four, so total items is three, and the grid elements per row is three. Save changes. And, and there we go. So now we've got this lovely space where we can put our Facebook. And in fact, why not let's put a little headline first. We can just duplicate this headline and then uh, move that over there and, and, and edit it on the pencil. And just call it Facebook. You can call it whatever you like. You might wanna put like us or follow us on Facebook. Whatever you want, I'm just gonna put Facebook. So I'm gonna put it underneath here. So let's just pop open another tab and I'm gonna do a search for Facebook if I can type page widget. First one that comes up is over at developers.facebook.com slash doc slash plugin slash page hyphen plugin, which is a nice easy to remember URL. I'll put a link to it in the description of this video where you can just do a search like I just did. So here we go. Now what you need to do is find your Facebook page URL. So let's do that now. now I think it is facebook.com slash bow wow tech. Again, my type, I can't type when I'm recording because the microphone kind of blocks my view. Oh dear. Luckily Google's found it because I mistyped it there. Never mind. Yeah, so here's my Facebook page, which if you were watching my live stream last week, you'll see me set it up because we just set it up last week and it's doing okay. Um, it's up to uh, 172. 172 this week, so that's nice. 
gonna be doing some more videos on how to grow your Facebook page. But anyway, this is what we want, this URL. So I'm just gonna copy that into my clipboard, go back to this page, gonna drop that in there. And there we go, you see? And then here you can decide uh, what kind of tabs and things you like. If you remove that word timeline, it'll tell you the sort of thing you can type in. I'm happy with timeline. The next thing you wanna do is set a width and height. Now you're gonna to need to play around with this depending on your site's layout and that kind of stuff. Now, I was playing around with it earlier before I started recording and I know that a column that's about a third on a page, which it is, as you saw me just set it up, is around 370 wide. So I'm gonna do a width of 370. And then for the height, I'm thinking around 520. That way it'll be about as long as those uh, blog posts, these ones, remember these? Be about as long as them so it'll kind of look all lined up. So that's what it's gonna look like. You can, um, oh, it's gonna try and adapt it anyway. You can tick, untick that, you can adjust these if you like. I'm gonna show some friends' faces, that'll be fine. I'm just gonna click get code. Now I'm gonna go for iframe because it's a lot easier than the JavaScript SDKs. So let's go iframe, iPhone, iframe. <laughs> it's not an iPhone, it's an iframe. It says choose your app ID. Now I don't think you really need to do that. So I'm not gonna do that because you may or may not have an app set up. I, I have, but that's a pain if you have to do that. So fingers crossed it's gonna be fine. And in fact, if you're not logged into Facebook or you haven't got any apps, I think there'll just be like the one step which is copy this code. I don't think you need an app. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Let me know if you do, but I don't think you do. So I'm just gonna copy all this code here, this bit here. Starts with iframe, ends with iframe. You wanna scoop all that up into your clipboard. Head back to your website and then in here, I'm gonna click on the little plus, I'm gonna add a raw HTML um, element. I'm just gonna add it. Let's take out what's already in there. I'm gonna paste in that code from Facebook, click Save Changes, let's see what happens. Oh, look at that. It looks right, see it's nearly this kind of right height. Maybe go a little bit higher. I think that's fine. Obviously you can play around with your heights and your widths on here and then just click get code and it will update the code for you. So anyway, let's go take a look. This has come out of this. Scroll down. There it is. Yeah, I could have had a few extra pixels, I think, couldn't I? Um, but uh, I think you get the idea. So there we go, we're all done. That brings us to the end of this video. Hopefully you've got your Facebook widget up and running and it's looking good. And now people who visit your website can really easily like your Facebook page. If you've got any questions or comments, then do leave them below. I'll do my best to answer as many as I possibly can. If you're not already subscribed, just simply click on the eagle up there. Remember to click that bell. Do check out my other channel, it's my vlog channel. It's all around business and life and, and other stuff. I think you're gonna like it. Here is another video, it's been chosen especially for you. Hope you enjoy it. Until next time, bye for now.